Next question. Uh, this one is a, a huge one, I think. It's a simple one, but also a huge one. And it took me a while to really figure this out. But whenever you are working with samples, this is something really, really important. Because if you don't, and actually the question is, how do I discover the key of a sample? And uh, sometimes it can be a little bit daunting, a little bit hard if you are working with samples and you don't have your, a trained ear to really see what notes are being played, which I, uh, to be honest, I don't. I, I haven't yet trained uh, my ear perception. So I cannot just hear a, a, a piano melody and say, okay, that's A, that's B. D and that's D sharp or F sharp or G sharp. I, I cannot do that or look at or hear the chord and say, oh, that's A minor or D minor or D sharp major or something like that. I cannot do that. So I have to re, uh, um, to stand on tools. I have to use tools to really get that information out of samples and you can do so too. So let's go to FL Studio and let's bring up a sample. So let's go to one of my sample packs. Uh, these ones are free, volume one, two, and three. So you can also download them in uh, dailybeats.pt. And uh, let's see, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to a different one. So let's see this one. Let's uh, bring this one in, uh, in the playlist just to have an idea of what it sounds like. Let's take out the playlist. And as you can see, it's a nice sample, but I cannot tell what are the notes of the sample. Luckily, uh, FL Studio now gave us a new tool with uh, the one of the latest updates. And this tool is a tuner. So let's go here to the channel rack. Let's bring, um, let's put this on track one, for instance, and let's go here to new. And we have something called tuner. And this is really cool because this plugin now tells us what, what notes are we playing with. So let's say that I want to know this first note here and automatically tells me that this is F sharp. And if you want a little bit more, uh, if sometimes if this doesn't work very well, you can go here to reactivity and start increasing this one. So this tells me is F sharp. So now if I uh, let me go here. Let's remove this. Bring this down. If I by chance do add a key, a key here, and if I do F sharp, uh, okay. So now I have to see if this is F sharp major or F sharp minor. So. I would say F sharp minor. You see, it's very easy to really get to know your notes. So now let's see, we want to know this one here. Let's do a section here. So it's telling me this is also F sharp. Okay, let's go to the next one. So now it's telling me that C sharp. So let's do that one here. Let's uh, find C sharp. And actually let's do something like this. Let's just move this one, but because most likely would be a minor key. So if we put major, doesn't sound the same, but minor, Minor sounds really cool. So this is a very cool way to really get to know your samples and really understand what are the pitch of the sample. Another way, uh, because they introduced this uh, plugin, uh, I think it's really, really easy, really fast to use this plugin as a, uh, a, a key uh, discover, I would say, key discover plugin, because this really helps us to really focus on that specific note and really get to the root key of the sample or the, the note of the sample and we can work around the, the, the beat with that. 
Another way that you can do that is by looking at the entire sample. And if we go here and click right click and we do open in audio editor, this will bring us Edison. And here in Edison, you can also do the same thing. Granted, he's not the same. He's not so, I would say it's not so clean, but you can also access that by doing here and detect pitch regions. So if I click here, you see that this gave us a bunch of markers that we can now uh, go and for instance, the first key was F sharp, as it says here. The second key here, we have C sharp. The next one would be A. The one after again, F sharp, A, C sharp. So this helps us to get an idea of the actual uh, notes in the sample. And of course, after, uh, after you knowing the notes, then if it's a chord, then you just go and try to play major, minor, seventh, ninth, or something like that to really get to see if that chord sounds the way it's supposed to. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, there's also other ways, but I, I would say th these are the most, uh, the ones that I use the most and the ones that I think are the best for the, this case. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think those are, are the easiest ones.